a taco salad. It sounds like a bit of a stretch to be a salad, but it doesn't have to be laden with cheese, sour cream, and deep fried corn chips to taste great. This feel good sibling is flipping the balance with a load of fresh ingredients without compromising on that Mexican taste. So I've just got some corn tortillas here, just really thinly slicing them, and then I'm gonna bake them in the oven. Put them on a lined baking tray. Spread them out in a single layer. I have some non-accelerant spray oil here. I want them to be nice and coated. Spray oil is good for that. Just makes for an even spreading. Give it a good toss first, and then spray again, because this is what is going to make them really nice and golden and crunchy. So get into the oven, about 180 degrees. Just keep an eye on them, because different tortillas will cook at different rates. While that's cooking, I'm going to get onto the tomato salsa. Just have some finely chopped tomatoes here. Some chopped red onion, or you can use a shallot. Some chopped coriander. And some pickled jalapenos. Of course, you can serve those separately, but I love the kick and the heat from them, so just add in a few. And some lime juice. So I'm doing this first so the ingredients can get to know each other while we make the rest of the salad. And a touch of salt. Delicious. The best combination of flavours. While that stands, I'll start cooking the beef. Just onto a medium-high heat. A touch of oil. So you can use beef stir-fry strips if you like. Sometimes I use prawns instead and then I just use a little less of the spice mix. Some kidney beans. You can use black beans, pinto beans. And I have some Mexican spice mix here. So there's lots of different spice mixes, obviously, so just be aware of the varying degrees of heat and just add it accordingly. This is one of my divide and conquer recipes. You can make half of it vegetarian and just use half the spice mix and serve the beef and prawn separately. While that's cooking away, just get onto the guacamole. Avocados are so good for us. They contain 20 different vitamins and minerals. I'm so glad they're not demonised anymore for containing healthy fats. Mash it with the back of a fork. Let's make sure they're nice and ripe. Okay, that's good. A bit of lime. Just have a little bit of lime juice. Just squeeze in some coriander. It's a good way to sneak it in. If you're wanting to hide it, perhaps. Definitely use all of the leaves and stems. The stems have a load of flavour, more than the leaves, and adds a really nice texture. And a pinch of salt. Give it a good mix. Okay, that's good. Now for some iceberg lettuce. Just have half here. Just want to thinly slice it, shred it. I like iceberg because he's underrated. There's lots of different fancy lettuces out there, but absolutely nothing wrong with it. How good are they? They're hot, but they're crunchy. Now for some cheese. So I just have some halloumi here, which is nice and salty. I'm going to do something a little bit different and grate it. In Mexico, they have Oaxacan cheese. It's really stretchy and this is the closest thing that's available to us. As with meat, I like to use less dairy. So you're still getting the flavour of it, there's just less of it. Of course, if you wanted to make it vegan or dairy free, you can just leave it out. Salty. 
delicious. Put the salsa a good stir, just spoon it over the top. And last but not least, some of my sourish cream. Excuse me. My tasty taco salad. Yes, please.